Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I will show you how we can use NCBI Blast tool. So for this, you just need to open NCBI website. So you can simply write in Google NCBI Blast. So uh, it will just take you to the Blast of NCBI. So we, in this video, we will use nucleotide blast, although we, you can use uh, from translated nucleotide to the protein and protein to the nucleotide and protein to protein. But this is the very basic one and I will show you one example how we can use this nucleotide blast. So you just need to click on this and here you need to enter your quick query sequence. In this query sequence, we can just try to paste any desired sequence for this example let me try my gene subdeletion like serine protease so uh, let me retrieve its sequence yeah because we know that this is actually the nucleotide sequence so let's just try to find this sequence in other parts of genome and see like, let's suppose we have a small part of this sequence nucleotide and we want we don't know that which which gene actually have similar sequence of this one you can simply copy your uh, sequence and go to that nucleotide blast and enter your FASTA format here so uh, from this you can choose all the nucleotide databases like the non-redundant if you want to choose any other you can also choose but i would recommend you that you if you do not have any specific database you can just leave it as to the non-redundant database so when you will blast it will tell you that this sequence belongs to which gene so this in this way the blast can be helpful to know your uh, sequence belongs to which gene so it will just take few seconds to tell you that uh, the sequence actually belongs to which gene so we can see that this is actually uh, on the chromosome 4 yeah we can because we have just copied that sequence belongs to rice on the chromosome 4 we can see that LO stand for locus or as a sativa 04 mean it's the chromosome number and this is the gene ID so we can see that this is uh, the same and uh, it belongs to that uh, same gene so we can also look that how much similarity percent uh, like we can see that uh, actually it cover 100 percent to the query i mean the overall all and all sequence is exactly covering to our query sequence and uh, we can also know as this e value would be in minus so it will show that this is our exact sequence and if this e value is in plus so it means this is away from our query sequence so this is our accession length i mean the total gene length is 4606 so we can also uh, check its sequence by just clicking this and it will take you to this gene sequence yeah this is or as a sativa and this is the whole sequence that we copied from there so this sequence actually uh, this sequence and this sequence is the same so that sequence was actually taken from this gene so in this way you can use any query sequence to find that this sequence belongs to which gene so hope so this video will be helpful uh, to know your unknown sequence that that sequence belongs to which part of genome and which gene id so if you have any other question please let me know thank you for watching bye bye